Number 10. Enjoying the local cuisine. Indulging in Rome's local cuisine is an adventure for the palate, a journey through flavors that are as rich in history as the city itself. Imagine sitting at a trattoria in a cobblestone alley, a plate of cacio e pepe before you, the air filled with the aroma of pecorino cheese and black pepper. Each bite is a testament to the simplicity and elegance of Roman cooking. As you wander the streets, the scent of freshly baked pizza bianca lures you into a bakery where the warm, crispy crust melts in your mouth, a perfect snack as you explore the eternal city. Gelaterias beckon with their array of colorful gelato, each scoop a creamy delight that cools the warmth of a Roman afternoon. Dinner might be saltimbocca alla romana, tender veal lined with prosciutto and sage, a harmony of flavors that dances on the tongue, and no meal is complete without a sip of espresso romano, a bold finish to a day's feast. Eating in Rome is not just about sustenance, it's a cultural immersion, a celebration of traditions that have been passed down through generations. It's about sharing moments with friends and family, savoring each dish, and embracing the joy of Italian life. Number nine, Villa Borghese. Villa Borghese is Rome's third largest public park and a peaceful haven for both locals and tourists. The gardens were developed for the Borghese Villa in the early 17th century and later opened to the public. Today, it's a delightful place to escape the city's frenzy. However, it's not just a park, it's a cultural haven nestled in the heart of Rome. This verdant oasis offers a respite from the city's hustle and bustle, with wide gravel pathways meandering through lush greenery, tranquil ponds, and shaded hideaways. It's a place where locals jog, families picnic, and tourists wander in awe of the natural beauty. You can rent a bike or a boat, visit the Bio Parco di Roma Zoo, or simply enjoy a leisurely stroll among the shaded pathways, beautiful fountains, and diverse statuary. The park also hosts several museums, the most notable being the Galleria Borghese, a treasure trove of art housed in a 17th century villa containing a substantial part of the Borghese collection of paintings, sculpture, and antiquities. Here, you can admire sculptures by Bernini that seem to pulse with life, alongside paintings by Caravaggio that capture the light and dark of human existence. The gallery's collection is vast and varied, offering a glimpse into the artistic genius that has flourished in Italy over the centuries. The villa itself is a masterpiece of architecture, and the surrounding gardens are meticulously landscaped, featuring a lake, temples, fountains, and statues. Number eight, Trastevere. Trastevere is the heart and soul of Rome's bohemian lifestyle. Its narrow cobblestone streets, lined with ivy-clad buildings, lead to hidden piazzas, where the air is filled with the aroma of freshly baked pizza and the sound of clinking glasses. This is where Rome's vibrant personality shines brightest, in the laughter of diners at sidewalk cafes and the chatter of market vendors selling their wares. At night, Trastevere transforms. The golden glow of street lamps casts a romantic hue over the district, and the bars and restaurants come alive with locals and tourists alike. It's a place to savor authentic Roman cuisine, to sip on fine wine, and to feel the pulse of the city's nightlife. Trastevere is not just a neighborhood, it's an experience, a slice of Roman life that remains etched in the memory of all who visit. Seven, Galleria Borghese. The Galleria Borghese is a testament to the opulence and grandeur of Rome's past. As you step into this magnificent gallery, you're transported back in time, surrounded by the splendor of the Borghese family's former villa. The walls are adorned with masterpieces that capture the essence of Renaissance and Baroque art, with each room offering a new discovery. Bernini's sculptures are the stars of the show, with works like Apollo and Daphne and the Rape of Proserpina showcasing his unparalleled ability to carve emotion and movement into marble. Caravaggio's paintings, with their dramatic use of light and shadow, draw you into their stories, making you a part of the scenes he so vividly depicted. The Galleria Borghese is more than an art collection. It's a journey through the history of art, where each piece tells a story of its time. It's a place where you can lose yourself in the beauty of creativity and the power of human expression. Six, climb the Spanish steps. The Spanish Steps, a monumental stairway of 135 steps, is one of Rome's most famous attractions. 
built with French funds between 1723 and 1725, to link the Bourbon Spanish Embassy to the Holy See with the French church, Trinita de Monti. It's a place of international flavor that has attracted tourists and locals for centuries. At the base of the steps is the Piazza di Spagna, the square named after the Spanish Embassy. In the center of the square is the famous Fontana della Barcaccia, a Baroque fountain designed by Pietro Bernini and his son, Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Climbing the steps, you'll be treated to a beautiful view of the city, and at the top, you'll find yourself in front of the Trinità dei Monti Church, a perfect spot for photos and to take in the Roman atmosphere. 5. Explore Vatican City Vatican City, enveloped within Rome, is the heart of the Roman Catholic Church and the smallest independent state in the world by both area and population. This landlocked sovereign city-state was established as an independent nation with the signing of the Lateran Treaty in 1929, creating a unique entity that wields both religious and political influence. At just over 44 hectares, its boundaries are primarily the medieval and Renaissance walls that encircle it, except for the iconic St. Peter's Square. The city-state is governed by the Holy See and serves as the spiritual and administrative epicenter of the Catholic Church. The Pope, as the Bishop of Rome, presides over this ecclesiastical jurisdiction, extending his authority to Catholics globally. The most prominent structure in Vatican City is St. Peter's Basilica, standing over the tomb of St. P. Peter the Apostle. It's the second largest religious building in Christendom and a pinnacle of Renaissance architecture. The climb to the top of its dome, designed by Michelangelo, offers a panoramic view of Rome. The square in front of the Basilica, St. Peter's Square, is an architectural marvel in itself, with its massive colonnades designed by Gian Lorenzo Bernini. The Vatican Museums and the Sistine Chapel, home to Michelangelo's renowned ceiling and last judgment, draw millions of visitors each year, eager to witness the convergence of art, history, and spirituality. Vatican City operates with its own postal service, telecommunications, radio station, and banking system. The Swiss Guards, a small force responsible for the safety of the Pope since the 16th century, are a distinctive sight with their colorful Renaissance-era uniforms. Despite its diminutive size, Vatican City's influence is felt worldwide through the Catholic Church's network. It stands as a symbol of faith and a testament to the Church's historical legacy, offering an unparalleled experience of religious significance, artistic grandeur, and cultural heritage. A visit to Vatican City is a journey through the heart of Catholic tradition, art, and history, with the papal audience being a highlight for many. Whether you're there for religious reasons or to appreciate the art and architecture, Vatican City is a must-see when in Rome. Number four, the Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain, or Fontana de Trevi, is a Baroque masterpiece and one of the most famous fountains in the world. Standing at 26.3 meters high and 49.15 meters wide, it is the largest Baroque fountain in Rome and one of the most celebrated fountains of all time. The fountain's design, which depicts Oceanus, the god of all water and sea, is a true representation of the Roman tradition of celebrating water as a source of life and beauty. The central figure is flanked by tritons, mythical sea creatures, guiding Oceanus's shell chariot, symbolizing the ever-flowing abundance of water. The surrounding sculptures merge to form a representation of rocks and vegetation, designed like a monumental triumphal arch built against the wall of the Palazzo Poli. Visitors come from all over the world to see the Trevi Fountain, and it's a tradition to throw a coin into the water, ensuring a return to Rome. The fountain collects over 1 million euro in coins each year, which are donated to charity. The Trevi Fountain is not just a fountain. It's a symbol of Rome's eternal allure, a place where art, architecture, and tradition blend seamlessly. 3. The Pantheon The Pantheon, originally built as a temple to all gods, is one of the best preserved pieces of ancient Roman architecture. Its massive dome, which remains the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome, is a testament to the engineering genius of the ancients. The oculus at the dome's center opens to the sky, allowing natural light to illuminate the Pantheon's interior, creating a connection between the earth and the heavens. The Pantheon has been in continuous use throughout its history and was converted into a Christian church in the 7th century. 
It is also the final resting place of several important figures, including the Renaissance artist Raphael and two Italian kings. The Pantheon's harmonious proportions and the grandeur of its dome have inspired architects for centuries, making it a must-see attraction for anyone visiting Rome. Number two, the Roman Forum. The Roman Forum was the center of daily life in ancient Rome, the site of triumphal processions, elections, public speeches, and criminal trials. It was the nucleus of commercial affairs and the venue for religious ceremonies. Today, the Forum stands as a sprawling ruin of architectural fragments and intermittent archaeological excavations, attracting millions of visitors each year. Walking through the Forum, one can't help but feel the weight of history. The remains of the Temple of Saturn, the Arch of Titus, and the House of the Vestal Virgins are just a few of the structures that offer a glimpse into the life of ancient Rome. The Forum is a complex tapestry of history, where each stone tells a story of the Empire's rise and fall, its grandeur, and its decay. Number one, the Colosseum. The Colosseum, an enduring symbol of ancient Rome's might and ingenuity, stands as a testament to the architectural and engineering prowess of the Roman Empire. Constructed between 70 and 80 CE under the Flavian emperors, this iconic amphitheater has withstood the ravages of time to tell a story of a civilization that valued spectacle, power, and public life. With a capacity to hold an estimated 50,000 to 80,000 spectators, the Colosseum was the stage for gladiatorial contests, public spectacles, and theatrical productions that showcased the empire's cultural and entertainment values. Its elliptical design optimized visibility, ensuring that every spectator had a clear view of the arena below where the drama of life and death unfolded. The structure itself is a marvel of ancient construction techniques, utilizing travertine, tufa, and concrete to create a series of arches and vaults that have endured for centuries. The exterior, adorned with columns and arches, reflects the classical orders of Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian, showcasing the Romans' mastery of aesthetics and form. Despite partial destruction due to earthquakes and stone robbers, the Colosseum remains a powerful presence in the heart of modern Rome. It is a monument to human achievement and ambition, reflecting both the grandeur and the brutality of the ancient world. Today, it continues to attract millions of visitors from around the globe, drawn by its history and the indelible mark it has left on Western civilization. As the sun sets on the Roman skyline, the Colosseum captures the last rays, its ruins a silhouette against the twilight. It stands not just as a relic of the past, but as a bridge to an era that laid the foundations for much of the world we know today. Rome is a city that captivates the heart and ignites the imagination. Whether you're a lover of nature, a seeker of nightlife, or an admirer of art, these top things to do in Rome promise an unforgettable experience that will leave you longing to return. Hi, I'm Rachel. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed or learned anything about what you've just seen, then please, like us and hit that subscribe button. We're just getting started, so you'd be doing us a huge favor. It really helps out a small channel like this one. I hope we earned your subscription today, but if we didn't, I promise we'll keep making great videos until we do. Join us next time when we'll take another wonderful trip in the Travelarium.